So today we're going to talk about the best vitamin for sciatica. Now, what is sciatica? Sciatica is pain down the sciatic nerve. Now, the sciatic nerve comes from your lumbar spine all the way in the back part of your leg, all the way down into the bottom of your foot. It's the longest nerve in the body. It's the widest, and biggest nerve in the body. And it can create a lot of pain and misery, especially if you are in a situation where you have to drive long periods of time or you're sitting a lot behind your desk. So the sciatic nerve needs certain nutrients to function correctly. But the deficiency that will create the most damage on that nerve is a vitamin B2 deficiency, riboflavin. Now, you can also get sciatica from other deficiencies as well, especially B12 and B1. So I would recommend taking the whole B complex just to make sure. And I would also probably take what's called benfotamine, which is a fat-soluble B1 that's been very helpful in peripheral neuropathy, pain in the bottom of the foot. So I also wanted to talk about additional symptoms that can occur if you're low in vitamin B2. So we talked about peripheral neuropathy. That's nerve damage in the peripheral, which means it refers down into either the arm or the leg. The limbs are weak, skin lesions or skin problems, swollen mouth or tongue or red tongue, breakdown of the nervous system, okay? And I'm talking about the myelin sheath, the outer part of that nerve, which is related to this right here. Cracked heels, so the back part of your heels, if it's dry and cracking, that's a B2 deficiency. Oily skin, especially around your nose through here, and even hearing loss. Now, a B2 deficiency could be created because you're just not consuming the foods that are high in B2, or more commonly, it's a problem with your gut. Whether you have gut damage, celiac, Crohn's, uh, diverticulitis, uh, or some type of malabsorption in your small intestine or even your large intestine. Uh, let's say you took a bunch of antibiotics one time and that destroyed your ability to absorb nutrients. That could be why you're deficient in B2, in which case you just need to take a lot more of B2 to get the absorption. The foods that are high in B2 are liver, beef, clams and other shellfish, mushrooms, nuts, cheese, eggs, fish, and even green vegetables. Now, I have done other videos on sciatica that you can check out. I put the link down below because it's not always a vitamin deficiency, but it can be. So check them out and comment down below.